most excited because you know when you go on a two then that gets a three four five you know you have that forward motion forward how forward. would we describe our friendship it's like a hot sauce <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to have some gin. Woo! And here's why. I didn't I wasn't always a gin drinker. Mm -hmm. I used to drink vodka mm -hmm. and when I was in college, I don't even know what I was drinking, but I have learned that dark liquor mm -hmm. makes me angry. Mm -hmm. Gin on the other hand mm -hmm. makes me Danny. <laughs> when I first met Danny, I thought she was cool. I didn't think she was cool. I thought she was obnoxious. But now she look, but me. now look at us. She loved me. <laughs> So today we're going to get into the pour. I think we just go right into it and let's talk about, you know, our mood for today, like yeah. this podcast. So what are you drinking today? So today I have some tequila, some De Leon. It's very, I mean, I mean, the bottle alone just makes me feel rich. It's super sexy. And it's, it's the, the brown color. Cocktails and Cancer is about two best friends navigating life after a cancer diagnosis. 11 months later, I was feeling a lump. Mm. The doctor said, like, cancer just doesn't grow that fast. Like, it's not like, you know, it's the speed of light. You know, when you think about it, cancer was growing in my body and I was in my 30s. I think you can expect life-saving and life-changing information. Yeah. You know, I know people who, you know, in their 20s are being diagnosed. Mm -hmm. And so we wanted to um, go through the process of how do you do a self-examination? Yeah. I mean, well... Shit, you're the one who found the lump in the breast. Maybe you should. <laughs> what we hope this podcast does for others is really save lives and take the fear out of the conversation and let people know that it's okay to ask someone if they're okay, that it doesn't make you weak, it doesn't make you any less of a person. And the only way that we're all going to beat this is if we do it together.